<laughs> hey guys. So, in my effort to be completely unoriginal, I'm gonna remake one of my old videos, and that would be how to play second. Um, this is a very woodwind-oriented instru in instrument. That was what I meant to say. Um, very woodwind-oriented video. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> if you play a non-woodwind, this might not be the most helpful in the world, but I'm not going to apologize. Um, so, you get a lot of chances to play second in music school especially, but you don't really get told what you're doing. Um, and so, sometimes you can play second for like a year straight and never really get good at it because you don't really know what you're supposed to be learning. Um, so. That is what we are going to cover. Uh, one of the first things is you are there to support your first. You are gonna have to do a lot of work, maybe even more work than your first, and you're not gonna get any credit for it. But if you weren't there, they wouldn't sound nearly as good. So take that into consideration. <laughs> um, one of the major things is tuning. You are responsible to for being in tune, and not just in tune with the rest of the orchestra, in tune with your first, which means that if they're wrong, you're wrong with them. Unless it's really, really bad, in which case you, like, subtly turn to them and go, hey, can we tune this? I can't find you. Or like, I think I might be out of tune. And then they'll tune it and they'll hear the how just how wrong they are, and then they'll go fix it. But then you Maybe. don't... If they're a good first. Um, they could just be an asshole. If they're an asshole, then you're screwed. In that case... <laughs> Deal with it. Yes, exactly. That's how you get employed. <laughs> and the horn player in the corner is now helping. Um, yeah, if you have a good first, they'll hear that they're wrong and they'll fix it. If you don't, <coughs> then you just have to figure out where they are and hope that you're close, because that's not your problem anymore. Um... But basically, you should really be listening to your first a lot, really, really getting to know their sound and getting to know their tuning issues, because everyone has their own tendencies, and that's fine. You just have to know that that person you're playing with has those tendencies. Um, and it's your job to deal with that, rather than them trying to fix... Like, they're not going to adjust to you. Um, also, you have to figure out how to fit your sound into theirs, because they're the lead player. They're the ones that are dictating how the section sounds. Um, but obviously they're not going to sound the same as you, because we all have our own personal sounds. However, as a second player, it's your job to support the principal sound, which means that you have to figure out how to adapt your sound to theirs. So if they have a really, really bright sound and you're playing a gold flute and they're on silver, then you have a lot of work to do. But you ha can't just play with your typical dark sound when you're playing with that first. Um, it's the same as if you have a really bright sound and a very, the first has a very dark sound, you have to figure out how to do that. Um, and obviously the first couple times you play with a, per with a new player, it's not going to be perfect. But that's one of the things that a lot of experience on first does is like you, or not on first, on second, does is that you get really used to adapting to other people's sounds and trying to listen to them. Um, and especially if you're a young player, you can ask your, and in school, please keep in mind that this is in school, don't ask a press professional to just like play with you for a while unless it's like a friend of yours. <laughs> Um, but if you're playing for playing second with a new person for the first time, you can just ask them if they can like go into a practice room and play with you for a bit so you can start hearing them. Um, that's totally fine. Sometimes even sometimes your first will even suggest that. Um, but as long as you're a student and you're playing with another student, they're they should be more than happy to help you. That being said, some people won't. The emphasis is on should. Yes. And some people don't do what they should do. Yes. But if you know these things, then you are doing what you should be doing. And that means more, more people in the world will be good musicians and good music students. But just because you're doing what you should be doing doesn't mean you should be first. Practice only fixes that. Practice and not going to go there. Never mind. Practice. <laughs> yes. Um, That's good thing. <laughs> 
Um, also, when you're playing second, you kind of have to know what part of the chord you're playing. If you're playing in unison with your principal, that means that you're really just giving more volume to their sound. If you're playing in octaves, it's just giving more of the bass to their sound, which if you're a flute player, yes, we know there isn't very much bass, but you know what I mean. Not all about that bass. <laughs> that bass. Not at all about that bass. Um, but if you're in thirds, if you're in fifths, then you're going to actually have to play a little bit louder because you're lower and you're also an important part of the chord. And to balance out a higher, higher player, you're going to have to play a little bit louder. That's all practice and you might over or underestimate how much you're going to have to play. Um, which is why doing these things in a school setting is great, because it means you're not flailing around in a professional ensemble. Um, so it's just, basically the second player has to listen more than anything. And I mean, obviously everyone in an ensemble has to listen, but the second is really the one that has to listen the most to the per people in their section. The, the first is going to listen to the people they're playing solos with, the other principals in the sections. Um, they're going to lead everything. But the second is sitting there listening to everything that is happening, every sound that their principal is making, and trying their best to support that sound. Um, and, I mean, one of the best examples of that is the Brahms one fourth movement solo, which is also a horn solo. <laughs> and... Basically what happens is the first plays the moving notes, and then on the <coughs> second measure of each section, the second comes in, matches the note that the first has just ended on, carries it through the next measure so that the first can breathe, and then the first takes over again. Which means that basically every time the second comes in, they have to basically be the principal player. Like, they have to pretend that they sound like that. <laughs> the second would come in and... So you do this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the whole point is that it sounds like one seamless solo with one player. Um, and unless someone's like noticing the fact that there's two people playing, it's really going to sound like one line. Which means that the second player really has to know exactly what their principal is going to do and sound exactly like them. Or else the whole point of this, like, the whole solo is chopped up. And, yeah. But even professionals screw that up sometimes. Yes. But I heard the CSO fuck that up. <laughs> I didn't just say that. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, <coughs> like, good principles will not be assholes, as we've previously stated. So sometimes they are. Most of the time they are. Most of the time. Especially, like, really egotistical students who think <laughs> that they're deserved of any part that they're given. So if you're a second and you're being mistreated, I, like, there's really little, very little you can do apart from just, like, show them up next semester. But... But chances are they're ass kissing the conductor and you won't stand a chance anyway. But you can try. If the conductor is the one giving seat assignments. Um, whoever it is. But yeah, you, like, there's, <laughs> there's going to be people that aren't good principals and aren't good seconds and are just generally not good people. And that sucks. And that's when sec playing second starts sucking is when you have to play to someone who thinks that you're their bitch, basically. Because you're not. <laughs> um, so, yeah. 
This was a very interesting video with some interesting interjections from this lovely human in the corner. But I hope this was somewhat helpful, and I will see you guys next week. Thank <laughs> you.